Welcome to Stock Talk. This is your host, Scott. Hope you had a good couple of days in the market. Uh, it's been a, been down days for me, uh, but those are always opportunities to buy. So we uh, took some opportunities both days. Yesterday we bought uh, MGM, XOM, Win, Oracle. Uh, MGM we got eighteen ninety. Uh, uh, XOM we bought at forty seven thirteen. Win we got at eighty eight seventy, and Oracle at fifty one seventy five. So those were the purchases we made yesterday. Now today another down day. We uh, took our opportunity to buy some more. Uh, bought some X. We'll talk about that a little bit when we looked at our portfolio. Uh, some more Cliff, CLF, Cleveland Cliff, another steel mill, and uh, GBTC, which is our Bitcoin trust. Wanted to go ahead and build that position up a little bit as well. So not really cost averaging, just wanting to build that up a little bit. Uh, it did cost average a little bit, but not too much. Uh, just trying to, it looks like it's holding pretty steady. So I wanted to go ahead and get a bigger position. So let's take a look at our portfolio. We'll talk about USC and what went on with it today. And uh, yesterday was down as well. So let's take a look at everything and uh, talk about that. We'll talk about what's going on in the market tonight as well and get a game plan together for Friday. And to close out the week. All right. So let's go and look, cut over there. All right. So here we have our portfolio. As you can see, we've added some new ones here. Cliff uh, today, we uh, bought that one. We bought it at 585, so we're up a little bit on that one. Oracle was a good buy yesterday. We uh, uh, bought it at uh, 5175, so you can see we're up on that one a little bit. Win, uh, wins one of these casinos, Win and MGM, those casino stocks. Been wanting to uh, dabble in those a little bit. Uh, so they pulled back the last couple of days, so we went ahead and purchased a little bit of that. Uh, both of those were yesterday purchases. When we are in at 8870, we're down a little bit on that. MGM, we're in at 80, 1890, so we're down a little bit on that one because both of them were down again today. All right, so GBTC, like I said, we did add to that, just building the position up a little bit. SPY, uh, we're, we're sitting on that SPY still. Uh, so we're just uh, going to hold that one until it gets that 6% level. XOM, uh, add back into that one yesterday, 47.13. So down just a hair on that one. Uh, U.S. Steel, as you can see, it was our big loser today, 13.11. Uh, U.S. Steel, go ahead and pull up the news on that, show that to you. So you see here, U.S. Steel lower demands to hurt Q2 financial results. But really what uh, knocked that one down um, is this right here, a $400 million stock sale plan. So anytime you add uh, shares that you're going to to sell, that dilutes your share count so that's what that did now if you read this article here it talks about they're they're buying this plant that has one of these arc furnaces uh it's a that's a new new type of furnace uh, that doesn't require as much iron ore and things like that so you can actually make steel cheaper uh so that's that's what they're doing with this cash uh as well as you know staying float uh, because the coronavirus has effect, affected their their uh, company as well. That's just like anybody else's. But uh, they, they already had purchased half of that company, and now they're trying to get their half, I believe. But uh, it's not always bad news. They bought this stuff. If you read this, I think it was 850 somewhere around there, a share. So a lot of times what that does is that will put in a bottom on a share. Uh, when you when you sell the new shares for some, some price, that will then become the new bottom. Okay, so... Uh, that's good if we establish an $8.50 bottom. Uh, as you can see here, we're at $8.15 to $8.30 here. Uh, it may go a little bit low because a lot of people don't read these, these things and don't know that. But, uh, uh, again, the volume was high, too, you can see here. So we got to let this volume settle, uh, and then the price will settle, and it'll probably start going back up, especially uh, with the talk about the infrastructure. Okay. So let's, uh, let's go get back to our, uh, our portfolio here. 
there is X 13 11 percent down dollar 23 uh, so put flat most of the day after the news came out ACB down again as well so that's what we're looking like on the portfolio let's go ahead and cut over and take a look at what's going on in the market tonight and as you can see everything just turned green so this was just red uh, while I was preparing so I just turned green uh, be nice to close with a good day tomorrow uh, down a little bit this week again so uh, may can make that up tomorrow and, and end up close to even or something that would be a good week if we can get back to even but uh, anytime the market goes down, it's always an opportunity to buy, and that's what we've been doing. We've got lots of cash. We're still probably 50% cash or so, 55 or somewhere around there. I had checked it today, but uh, a lot of cash still. So that's okay. We don't mind things going down because it gives us an opportunity to buy. All right, so uh, let's see what's going on in Asia. You can see here Dow just pretty flat, just now turned green, so just pretty flat across the board here. Asia. Let's take a look at that. All right, pretty flat there as well, it looks like. Hong Kong still closed. So nothing going on there. The U.S. market today, as you can see, we're down 39 points on the Dow. And uh, squeeze out a little bit of green on the S&P and the NASDAQ as well. So not a terrible day, but uh, U.S. still kind of hit me kind of hard because that's one of the larger holdings. So even though the market was down point. 15%. I was probably down further than that. All right. Oil. Oil uh, gains 2% on OPEC uh, output cut compliance. So that's good. And it was up today. It looks like it's up a little bit more today. NBC was up pretty good today as well. I noticed, I noticed that. Um, so that's good for any of you holding the NPC. All right, so that's the market. Looks pretty good. May have a good start tomorrow. As you can see here again, still green. So uh, let's hope we start out great with a great day tomorrow. All right, so what we're going to do tomorrow, tomorrow we're just going to, again, look for opportunities. I'd like to have a good good day tomorrow to close out the week strong. We got a couple that, actually, we got a lot, uh, several of these stocks that we bought. Uh, and in one day, could we could be selling them just depending on how good the day is. Uh, but that Oracle is really close to selling. I think we're up 2.5-4% on that one already. So a good day tomorrow on Oracle, we might be out of it pretty quick. Uh, so that's that's one. Um, uh, there's some others that are in green, and there's some that's you know less than a percent down. So we're sitting good. Uh, wouldn't take much to, get, to sell some tomorrow. Would love to sell Oracle tomorrow. That'd be good to... Go ahead and cash in on that. But um, other than that, uh, any of you still holding Novavax? It's had a pretty good week. It was up again today, really good. I uh, had some friends were holding some of it, and they were selling uh, parts of theirs today. Uh, but I just can't get back in it until it gets around back to that 42, 43 range. May never get there, so I may not be buying back into it anytime soon. Uh, just a little scared of it right now because it's run up mainly on that... Uh, on that virus news and, and what's going on there, not so much the news on the uh, FDA approval for the for nano flu. So maybe when that news comes out, uh, and we'll just see where it settles. That maybe I'll go in higher at a higher point there, but uh, I just I just uh, think it could get me down to that 43 range. Okay. So anyway, that's where we're at. Um, I hope you have a good day tomorrow. And we'll get back on here Sunday night and talk about next week and uh, how we finished up this week. Have a great night. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking this button right here. Thanks.